Hello, I'm the Iron Man 525, and I'm going to teach you how to do muzzle flashes in Adobe Premiere Elements 9. Um, so the first thing is with your video, when you fire, um, Those ones are not bad. So first, I gotta find a single frame before I fire. I go like that. There's the frame right before I shoot. Now, first, what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to take a picture of that frame and do an export. And I'm gonna save it as correction. New save. Exit. Now, go into any Photoshop or this could even be done in GIMP. It cannot be done in anything else. Unless you know how to use... Well, anything else, really. Um, just use Photoshop or GIMP. I'm using Adobe Photoshop. Oh, that's 9. So, we get it there. I'll come back one moment. So now, that I got, so, now that I got my picture open in, um, Photoshop, I'm gonna zoom in closer here onto this spot, like that. Now, it's normally best to have it, um, it's normally best to have it so that it's no motion blur, but we'll have to deal with it in this case. Alright, so now, first what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this poly lasso tool and change it to polygonal lasso tool. And now I'm gonna select the spot where it's gonna be blown back. There. Now we got that selected. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna open file, open, and we're gonna open the same file. We're gonna do. We're gonna do edit, copy, and now we're gonna do select and do deselect. Now there's nothing there. So what we're going to do is now we're going to go to edit, paste. It's going to paste that spot right there. Now I'm going to click select. And I'm going to have it blow back. Now I'm going to do blur and click apply. Apply blur. and apply more blur. So now it fits in with that. Make it, I'm gonna make it slightly larger just so that it looks like it's actually going back. Now, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna do just do save, so it saves it as the same thing. Um, JPEG. Oh, boy, BTMB. Correction. Save. Place. Yep. Alright. Okay. Now, now it's saved. Just exit out of that. Yep. Now, 
fix it. Now go back to this. Now do get media. Oh, here it is. As you can see, see it's going back slightly right there. And now what you're going to do is you're going to zoom in and I'll take that one frame right here. I'm going to take that frame and I'm going to do clear. And now there's that open spot. Now I'm going to do add tracks and I'm going to add one video track and zero audio tracks. Now, there's that one video track. Now I'm going to add the spot where it's back, blown back. As you can see, blown back, not blown back. Doesn't look super realistic or anything, but it's only going to last one frame, so it's not going to be too noticeable or too unnoticeable. So now it goes bam. And this frame right there, one frame after it happens, is where you're going to put the flash. Now, what you're, to do the flash, go to internet. Now, Google. Google. Now click images, Google image search, muzzle flash. Pictures. Now we find one that I like. Because it has to be the right one. Because you shouldn't just go and pick out some random thing. In my opinion, you gotta find something that you seriously like. Whoa. I should give me a little wire search. Here. Um. You can find this one here. This one's a lot. This one's really nice. I'll just do save target. And save it. But I already have it. This one. So I just wanted to show you how to get them. And so here, let me find it. Or just let me get it. Second, I go. Where, where is it? There it is. Now, grab that. Now, this frame right here, and apply it, and have it go one, two, three, let it last three frames. Okay? Now, whoops, undo. Now, I'm going to take this one, I'm going to do the edit, I'm going to go to King, Luma Key, and click Apply.
Most people will just apply a little key and leave it as it is. No. <laughs> turn the threshold to 100% and turn the cutoff to 0%. And that should make it so that it still looks so that it looks really nice. No black. Um. Then go to roommate apply and wait. Undo. I don't want that. I don't even, just don't do it with me. <laughs> now click on the actual picture and then now we'll size it to appropriate. Now remember when you're doing this, muzzle flashes are big. They're actually pronounced flare. So flare, a muzzle flare should be big. Now I'm gonna do edit effects. I'm gonna do motion on uniform scale. I'm gonna make the width it wider and turn the height down. There we go. Now that looks right to me. Now I'm gonna. Size it to how I want it, and now it's on there. But see this black, and see how it goes over the black. You don't want that. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to transform, and you're gonna do crop. It's gotta be crop. Also, it won't work right. Now take the right and the bottom and turn them down to zero. Now it's the top. Turn it up. There we go. Now just do that so that it doesn't so it looks like it the camera films widescreen like that. So now that you got that now cut each one into a pic one picture in a frame so select the first one that one's fine now select the second one and the second one you're going to do opacity and turn it down to about to about 90 done now this last one you're going to go to edit and you're going to do well the second one here, sorry, you're gonna do it in motion and it's gonna make it larger. Oh. a little bit larger and now turn the opacity to about 85. Click done. Now go to this last one and do copy and then go to here and remove all the effects on this one and do paste and there that should make it like that now turn the opacity down to 70 all right so let's just rub through it here to that it's a frame where it rolls back pick those pictures make it larger now with this one only one problem it needs to be larger Instead of fussing around with moving it around to the right much, 
I'm just going to turn the cropping up more. There we go. Done. And done. Now let me render it. Rendering. Okay. So now it's rendered. Now let's play it. Ugh. I'll put the finished product on this video. Alright. See you guys later. Um, here's the finished video.